This is going to be a quick little video to show you how to use Doc Octopus. The first thing you would do is open up a new spreadsheet, a blank one, and name it like I have here. And then you would have already added Doctopus, um, which is also Gubrick, um, as an add-on. And remember, if you go down here, you get get, uh, get add-ons and add it. I already have done that, so I'm going to go to Setup um, and Select Mode, or just Launch, if you've never launched it, if you have launched it before. And remember, the first time you do it, it may ask for certain permissions. So I am going to, for classroom users, this is the easiest. I am going to ingest a Google Classroom assignment. And then I am going to select the class that I have, that I'm teaching, or have ever taught. And then select the assignment, this one. And now it's looking for it and pulling it out. Five have turned in. This is the one I want. Zero are not yet turned in. There are some. And I can only do the ones that are turned in if I want, but I'm just going to ingest them. And now you let it do its work. And you can see on the bottom here that it is creating a new tab. I'm just going to let it do its work. It's bringing things in. Now, if I was doing just a paragraph, it would be over here. And I'm not doing Gubrick, so I'm just going to look over here you can see the name, student, email. I can exclude them. This is the file key that's for the program. You don't need that. This is the name of it. And here are links to their docs. These are turned in. This is edit, edit. You can add a grade and you can give written feedback. So from here, I can easily go and open up a bunch of their documents. And I'm just gonna open up three. And you can see going across the top that I have three of the students' documents opened up. And I can write them comments back. Um, I can do whatever I'd like. Gubrick is something else, but um, I can go in here to once it's completely loaded. Yeah, they're still loading. But I could easily go in here, highlight an area, and add a comment, um, and that's how you would use it. I could come back to the original, that spreadsheet that I created, and over here, I could give written feedback, feedback and a grade. And if you're doing Gubrick, which I could meet with you and talk about, that's adding a rubric to all their documents. You can refresh, you can do all this, and then you can send feedback through an e email and also add a co-teacher. That's how you use Doc Octopus.